in this example, we're going to create a simple gasket showing different ways to create a profile sketch and contour and then enabling that within our feature. We're also going to look at a couple different ways to offset our design and we'll focus on some geometric uh, construction tools while we're building out this particular gasket. I'm going to draw the initial sketch just to get started. And for this sketch, I'm going to draw it on the front plane. I will rough out my part and I will assume my horizontal verticals. And for this part, I'm going to use some sketch fillets. I know I want this to be lined up with the center here, but I'm not so sure about this line. We can start by taking this line and just extending it. So if you go down to extend entities under the trim entities menu, click the line and it will run into the next object. The same could be true if we decided to draw this line just from here to coincident to this circle. I'm going to grab it so it also is tangent. And now I can say trim entities and I'm going to trim to closest and I'll select that edge. Now that's trimmed. I can do the same here and that should trim to this portion of that. That creates the basis for my geometry. I'm going to dimension it and then I will fill it. And that should be 200. That should be the basis for this part. Uh, as far as dimensions go, we can go to display delete and then click fully defined sketch. And under the fully defined, we can say all entities and hit calculate. And it's going to over define it because we have no placement. So we'll just hit OK and then I'm going to undo that. We'll just know that it's purposefully undefined right now. I'm going to quickly fill it my edges. We'll go back and draw a circle. And this circle will be dimensioned out to have a radius of 20. And I'll make this circle tangent to this circle and this circle tangent to this line. And that should adjust that just so, so I get that nice arc right in here. We can go back to our trim and trim all of that extra. We can also zoom in if we'd like and trim away some of these extra pieces. And that should create a really smooth profile. If this distance gets a little messy, just make sure that the linear dimension from here to here is 200. I'm also going to need to do the same thing for this bottom edge here. Now that those are all tangent, I'll trim things I don't need. And we'll say yes, we're going to delete that dimension. That should create our profile. Again, it's okay that it's underdefined. We can fully define the sketch and we'll say all entities. 
And we have a few redundant for now, for the purpose of this activity, we will keep this under defined. And I'll make sure all of my billets stay in. I'll exit this sketch and I'm going to extrude this profile here, five millimeters. That completes the base profile for this sketch and feature. If I need to, I can adjust this profile as needed. But what we're gonna do is create another profile within the same sketch. And then that way we can select between slightly different profiles if we'd like. So I'll right click my sketch here and edit sketch. I'm also going to right click this and hit normal too. I'll pan slightly over and I'm going to create a different profile. And I'm going to do this profile based on lines, rectangles, and circles. And that mirrors a slightly different profile, but I can adjust this one because there's no dimensions or specific geometric constraints. I've just created the relations, nothing else. If I'd like to, I can exit this sketch. Notice how it disappears. I'm gonna right click this sketch here. And for my feature, I can go down to my sketch contour and hit clear selections. Now I have the ability to select a different uh, profiles or contours. So you can just click all of the things that you'd like. So I want this, I'd like that guy, this guy. And that would get me my geometry. So if I hit check, it shows my new shape. I can also edit that feature, clear my selection for my contours, right click say box selection and it'll select everything in there and now I can select my specific features. If I hit check I still have to check all of the geometries. I would select all of my parts. This allows us to go back between a couple different profiles. And if I want to, I can edit this sketch and sort of live manipulate this particular piece, exit my sketch, and then it rebuilds. I'm going to edit this feature one more time, clear my selections, pan over. I'll say lasso selection, and now I can select all the things that I want. And I'll select that. Now I only have this original profile. And what we're going to do is create the gasket portion of this. So here we want to create a sketch on one of the faces. So we'll create a new sketch. We'll select the face of this part. And we're going to convert entities. And what we want to convert is actually this entire profile. So if you hover over one edge, you should get one of your lines or arcs. If you hover over the whole face, you'll get everything. So I'm going to click the whole entire face and hit check. Now in my sketch, that whole outline is part of my sketch. See how there are little boxes? That means that those entities are converted as part of my sketch. From here, 
I can create an offset. So it's asking me to select my entities to offset. And we'll offset 15 millimeters. And we're going to select that entire chain. And I will type in 15. And you may need to adjust the direction just by clicking that reverse button. And that offsets the selected geometries for us. Now, when we go to create our gasket, we can right click and show feature. And there's our 15 for our gasket. And then we'll go to our features, do an extruded cut. We'll select our line here to cut. And we'll just say through all. So when I flip my part, it's going to cut all the way through and I'll hit check and then I've created my final gasket design from here. That's one way to create a simple gasket with projected converted entities and also doing an offset. Another way to complete this task, I'm going to delete the cut extrude and the sketch. And I'm also going to delete the extrude and I'm going to keep the sketch. So make sure delete observed features is not checked. My initial sketch is here and I will do an extruded boss base off of this. And I still want that to go five millimeters. But here we can check thin feature and we'll select 15 on that. So let's select thin feature and we'll select 15 and that creates the gasket design that we're looking for. And that should provide the same exact shape as our previous example. Don't forget to save.